Hey guys, today we're talking about Offio, which is a social media content creation platform. I want you to know that I bought Offio with my own money. This video is not sponsored. As always, we're gonna do a tour of Offio. I'm gonna create some content and see what I think about it. And then at the end, I give you my final thoughts. Let's just dive right in. Okay, guys, here we are on the Offio platform. This is what it looks like when you sign in. Let's hit create new video in the center of the screen. And let's just start with a branded template. And let's decide the dimensions of our post, basically what platform we're gonna be using this post on. Let's just go square for Facebook and Instagram. And here are a lot of templates that we can pull from. And if you wanna see what the templates do, just hover your cursor over the thumbnails. And we can filter these categories here by hitting the filter button. And let's just go to announcement. And let's use this one here, future world presentation. And now here we are in the editing interface. Let's just do a quick tour. Here we can look at text if you would like to add text. And here are some pre-designed text templates here that you can pull from. Next is graphics. There's a lot of elements you can add to your project. There's overlays and effects. There's a lot of content in here to choose from. Next up, we've got media, you've got photos, you've got videos, and there are masks. So once you add a photo or video, you can add a mask to crop it out in one of these shapes. Then there are backgrounds. You could have solid color backgrounds, animated backgrounds, or images. We can add music. And then you can also upload your own content in the form of MP4s, movies, or WebM files. Now here in the center of the screen is our canvas. And over here are all of the layers of our project. This makes editing in Offio really simple um, because you can, instead of clicking around in the canvas and trying to highlight the item that you wanna edit, which gets kind of convoluted with the more content you add, you can actually just select it here in the layers. And then down here hidden is our timeline to reveal it. I'm gonna hit this button here, bottom right of the screen. And now we can see the order in which everything flies into the screen. And we can play with the timing of when these items fly in by just dragging these bars, making them come in sooner or later. And that is really nice. And then when you wanna close the timeline, you just hit the close timeline button. I'm gonna make some content here to promote my YouTube page. The first thing I'm going to do is drag this image of myself here into the frame. I'm gonna scale myself up. And I wanna eliminate some of the elements here. So let's get rid of the Offio logo. Let's move this text up and remove some of this text. And then let's customize this text here. I just need to double click the text and then I can modify it. And then if I wanna change the font or the size, I can just head up to this edit button here. I can add a drop shadow. I can add a background, so we can do one of these deals here. To change the font, we just use this drop down. And you guys, there are so many fonts in here. You know that I'm really picky about programs that don't have a lot of fonts, and this one is really, really great. I'm gonna change this font to Poppins. All right, now let's make some adjustments to the image I brought in. So we can just select it here in our layers and I'm going to hit edit. And here you have a whole bunch of values that you can change in terms of tint. You can change the blend mode. You can change the hue, contrast, saturation, brightness, error, make it sepia, none of which I'm going to do. We could add a filter to it if we so chose. Um, and we can add just a few simple effects here, like a drop shadow, let's do that. And we can adjust the position a bit by playing with these sliders. One thing I've noticed is that if you wanna change the color of your drop shadow, it seems like you could do it because you can hit this color swatch, but when you actually go to do it, there's no changes to be made. It just, it just stays black, which is kind of disappointing. I wish I could have brightened up the drop shadow a little bit on here. Now let's head to the background and see what adjustments we can make. So this is a moving background. Let me play it for you. So if we do wanna make 
changes to this. Unfortunately, we cannot change the color scheme of these backgrounds very efficiently. There's really not a lot of control there in Offio. So the only thing I can do is change, let's say the tint and the hue and try to achieve the color I want. But you can't really take specific elements in these backgrounds and make changes to them. So to me, that's a little bit of a drawback in Offio. Now let's just add a little bit of motion to my image here. So I'm gonna open up the timeline again. Let's find this image. And if we select it, we can customize how it enters the frame. I want it to slide. And then I can choose the direction from which it slides. So I think we wanna go from the right. And I can make this fly into the screen later by dragging down this bar here in my timeline that represents that photo. Let's play this back and see what we get. All right, I'm gonna close the timeline. This looks pretty good, but I think we could add a little bit more sparkle to this opening page here. So I'm gonna head on over to graphics. Let's see what we can find here. I'm gonna add this little swirl over here in this negative space. And I'm gonna change the color of this. And let me play with the timing down here in my timeline. Let's add one more. This effect, I want to go behind everything. So I'm going to drag it down in my layers and put it just above the background. So it's gonna go behind our text and my image. And let's play with it in the timeline, get that timing where we want it. And now let's say we wanted to make another scene. We can add another scene to this little video that we're making here by going up to the top right of the screen and hitting scenes. And let's add a scene to this. Let's choose a template again. Let's use this scene and I want to replace the Afio logo with my own logo. And I'm going to mimic the motion of the Afio logo in the template by opening up the timeline and making my logo the same duration as the Afio logo. And then I'm going to add the same entrance here. So I'm looking at the Afio logo, it's gonna zoom in effect, the direction is from center and it's a duration of one second. Let's do that here on my own logo. And we can turn off the Afio logo by hitting this little eyeball icon here. Let's play this back and see how it looks. Okay, I'm gonna close the timeline and make some adjustments here. I want my logo to be a little smaller so it fits more neatly in this center circle. And I wanna to try to change the color of these backgrounds a little bit. So I'm gonna select the background, hit edit, go to adjust and see what we can do with these tones. Again, like I said, I really wish I could play with these colors a little more. Not loving it, but that is what it is. Now that I've completed my second screen, I wanna add a transition between that first image I made and this one. So what I'm gonna do is go into the top left of the interface here, select our project, and hit this plus sign here. And now I can add a transition between those two scenes. I think I'm gonna go slant and leave the direction from left. And let's hit play all scenes to see the whole thing together. All right, and let's download it. And we have the option of an MP4 and a QuickTime file, which I really like. Let's go MP4 high quality. All right, so let's watch back our final video. Now that we've created that first video, I just wanna show you some other features in Offio that we didn't touch on with that project. Let's go to Smart Create. We'll go back to square size again, and we can create a logo intro and it suggests logo templates. Let's choose this one just to see how it looks. Okay, interesting. My logo is very small. Let me scale it up. Okay, not bad. Let's go back and play with some other things here. I want to show you that Offio does offer what are called scroll stoppers. You may have seen this a few times on my channel. I reviewed a product called Breakout Clips that specialized in scroll stoppers. I believe Create Studio is offering these as well. You can find them under Filter. 
and select scroll stoppers. These are the templates that Afio offers. So when you post these to Facebook or Instagram, they look like they're part of a regular newsfeed, but then they have these seemingly three-dimensional elements that make it look like your Facebook post is coming alive. So what are my final thoughts about Afio? Let's start with the positives as always. I really like all the little graphics and overlays that come with Afio. There's a lot of content in there for you to pull from. I also really, really like the layout of the interface. I love that layers panel where I can reorder all of my elements. It makes it so easy to navigate in the canvas. And of course that hidden timeline where I can really fine tune the timing of all the stuff flying in. It feels almost a little bit professional. Did you notice that there are dynamic guides was it within the canvas? So when I was moving my logo around, it showed me when my logo was perfectly center. I loved that very much. And of course, I loved how many fonts come with Afio. That is always a thing for me. Um, but there are a lot of fonts that come here in Afio. So I like that very much. And lastly, the price is pretty good. $149 for a year subscription to Afio. And that is like less than $13 a month. So I would also say that that is pretty good. What do I think the drawbacks of Afio are? Obviously you noticed that I had a hard time adjusting the colors of a lot of the elements in the Afio templates. You're kind of stuck with the colors on those backgrounds. And yeah, you can play with the hue and tint a little bit, but you can't really get a custom look. And that I was not crazy about. Also, I do find that the um, navigation is a little bit clunky when you want to add a new scene to your project. It's almost like you have to leave the Afio project you're working on, add a scene, and then like come back. And I also felt that the platform was a little bit slow because it is web-based and it just felt like, like there was a lot of lag time with Afio. So I wasn't crazy about that. Um, but I would say if you're into this, if you like the timeline layout and the layers panel, uh, you might be really happy with Afio. Like I said, I think the price is pretty good. There's other competing products that some of you may prefer better, like Canva has a great video editing platform or InVideo, which is a really like more robust um, web-based video editing platform that I think you might also want to check out. I'll link to both of those below, but you guys let me know. What did you think of Afio? Did you like it? Do you use it? Tell us in the comments. We can't wait to hear from you. Thank you so much. I will see you again.